Okay, it's not too hard one. Let's try it out. So we have a heat engine and it propels a ship by producing 580 BTU pound mass of work and rejects 300 BTUs pound mass of heat. What is its thermal efficiency? Well, first thing first, let's draw a picture. Beautiful, look at that heat engine. I'm not kidding, most of the problems will look like this because that's just a simple diagram and it's all we need to solve this. Now it gives me the heat rejected, I have that. It gives me my work output. I don't have this though. So for my efficiency equation, I still don't have enough information. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of detective work to solve it. So let's figure out the efficiency equation and then start pulling things in. So my thermal efficiency is equal to my work out, as a note, that's always net, over my energy input. I don't have the energy input. How am I gonna find it? Conservation of energy. Remember, the amount of energy entering the system, the amount of energy exiting the system has to be the same. It can change forms, but the totals have to be the same. So look at that. This is just my general law right here. Change in energy is equal to Q net minus W net. It's a cycle, so this guy right here is zero. And I know what my network is. I know what my heat output is. So I can rearrange that a little bit and get my heat input. So my net heat right there is equal to my heat input minus my heat output. I know that one. So I rearrange, there's my heat input, and I can solve. And what you see then is that it has to be the total. Look here, there's one arrow going in, there's two arrows going out. This guy has to be equal to that guy. They have to be, otherwise it doesn't work. So I plug that in here, put all my numbers, I get that this is 65.9% efficient. Not too bad. And honestly, most of the problems are going to be on this level for this textbook. So I hope this helped you. And next time we'll jump into some more details about calculating efficiency and the performance of different systems. Have a good one. Bye-bye.